we live in you know these strange times where people are wanting to open up to experiment with new things and look into the supernatural and all of this type of stuff yet they're still affected by that materialist way of looking at reality in some ways uh, so you're getting a mix of different people some people still lo- lean towards materialism uh, and that belief that it's all just physical matter and ocean and then you got those that want to experiment with new stuff and look into new stuff but they still are uh, to some degree affected by this so for example uh, there's a very interesting book it's called uh, psychedelics and the supernatural i don't remember the author I'll, i'll i'll set you up if anyone wants a reference to that and one of the underlying sort of ideas that he pushes and highlights is that people are turning to psychedelics because they want to experience have an experience what they would traditionally call a religious experience or a supernatural experience for themselves they want to have that first person experience and you can see why because we've been taught and told for so long that seeing is believing so as opposed to just using your intellect and reason uh, and coming to the conclusion say for example that you know a that islam is true and it is from allah and then following what it says and understanding what it says and and engaging in what allah has told us to do which allows us to build a relationship with allah and connect with him and therefore experience that connection eventually the woke postmodernist types don't want to put in the effort they don't want to put in the the work they just want to have these this quick instant gratification this quick experience and hence they turn to these types of these drugs that that's sort of apparently and we don't know what really actually happens but apparently opens them up to these experiences whatever the nature of these experiences is i've actually the we did a really good uh, spaces on my twitter so you guys can go watch that where we went into a bit more detail in regards to the nature of these experiences um so you know it's the point is that they these people they want to have their own experiences they want to see things for themselves and unfortunately many muslims today especially those that say they have doubts for example uh, or they can't connect with islam they find it difficult to connect with islam they find it difficult to uh, uh internalize in many cases what allah has said you know this because remember the quran allah is giving us the, the 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 true picture of reality what reality really is you know and it's and and it's clear from the quran that reality is not just matter in motion you know it's not just this physical material world there's much more going on right we begin with allah right and allah is not a part of this physical world so when you read the quran you realize that reality is very different from what we've been taught reality is what the materialist uh way of looking at the world has taught us because we're conditioned every single human being is conditioned and if we live in a materialistic world then that's going to impact every single one of us even muslims right through education etc we're taught to see the world like i said to map the world in a very specific way and that way does not have room for the divine it does not have room for a spiritual reality it does not have room for an ultimate purpose of life you know it does not have room to ground objective morals it doesn't have room to uh, even account for our truth bearing rational faculties yet the irony is that they you know we assume we're rational to carry on uh, to, to study the world through science for example so it, it, this this it's like a horse with blinkers we're told to see the world like you know as if we were horses with blinkers on so we don't see what's going on in all directions we're only taught to shown to see the world in a very narrow way and that not only limits you but it prevents you from connecting with the quran on a, on a deeper level so to do that there's a couple of things we need to do firstly we have to understand that this narrative that's been pushed for the past century or so probably slightly more that you know it's all matter in motion and there's nothing beyond it this narrative is not true that's the first thing we need to recognize and it wasn't pushed and promoted because it was true it was pushed and promoted because there was utility to it right it was in line with modernity it was in line with their goals uh, you know of wanting to create a world utopia uh, to to build a materialist society you know to 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 help strengthen capitalism it, it wasn't the goal wasn't so that people flourish and that people truly realize who they are and then they can move forward in life in a meaningful way uh, and make the most of life you know if you look at it from a materialist pers- perspective and atheism is is brought in here because atheism again as an ideology or a philosophy or a way of looking at things is in line with materialism what is the idea what, what are we told that we are essentially accidents of nature and that we are here by chance we only have one life there is no ultimate purpose to life purpose is what you make it you make your you make up your own purpose you make up your own uh uh meaning and then you just move forward with that right and normally that meaning or purpose is always aligned with the material world like making the most of it making as much money as you can having as many nice things as you can building as much uh property and other stuff as you can and all of this type of stuff right so this way of looking at reality is not only false but it has utility we have to understand this firstly secondly we have to then ask ourselves well you know how do i reconnect with the truth you know and for that the first thing i would say is well we need to reconnect with the quran we need to reconnect with our creator 
And we know as Muslims that Allah has given us the truth. He has given us revelation. And he has given us this final revelation, which is preserved. It's unchanged and it will not change. And it's the final one till the day of judgment. And it has everything we need to make sense of reality, to ground ourselves within this reality, to find our purpose, and then to move forward with that purpose and to make the most of our lives. And it also tells us what happens after we die. You know, So it gives you a whole and comprehensive way of looking at reality and what life is. And when you, we start engaging with this and we start understanding this and we start practicing, because Islam doesn't just give us, Allah just, doesn't just give us concepts and ideas. Allah just doesn't tell us, oh, look, you know, this is what life is and this is what the world is. And this is who you are. And this is what your purpose is. And this is where you're going. Those things are given to us. But then Allah gives us the how to live, how to fulfill that purpose. Right? And, and it's when we engage in that. And our purpose, as Allah outlines, is to worship Him. That Allah did not create us and the jinn kind for no other reason except to know Him and to worship Him. So when we start to worship Him, and, and when we worship Allah and we engage in, for example, the salah, and we, we really you know, understand what the salah is and we try to develop it and, and perfect it. And through this, we connect with our Creator. We connect with Allah. We experience certain things. We taste the sweetness of Iman. When these things start happening, you know, that's, and then you start moving forward with, you know, other aspects of how you can fulfill your purpose, which is worshiping Allah. It's not just a prayer. It's how you live in this world. It's what you do. You know, it's the ambitions you have and the goals you set yourself, which are in line with Islam. That's when you start to really live a fulfilling life and you really start to wake up to the essence of reality and, and you start to feel fulfilled and motivated. And, and, and that's when, you know, anxiety and depression and sadness, you know, is a thing of the past. You know, so you, it's when you start to live in a really profound and meaningful way. 